special arts program, helping physically and mentally disabled students create art. Sophomores Megan Mort and Pam Alger helped wheelchair-bound students roller paint. Sophomores Katie Asland, Mike Kaharchik, and yours truly worked alongside art teacher Jane Mata, who taught an animal watercolor class. The four-legged furry models included Henry, a golden retriever, an African pygmy goat, and also a special visitor from the Flint Mounted Police. As the rain descended, no one really seemed to mind. Everyone was having too much fun creating beautiful works of art. And culturally sound music, thanks to the nearby African drumming tent. Later, local celebrity Norma Hall stopped by to talk about her work with the program. Festival, and some people said, "Oh, sign my shirt sleeve." So I was signing a few <laughs> shirt sleeves and talking to people, and uh, meeting some people that I saw last year, because I usually am out here every year, and that was really nice. You feel like this is a family, and we're out here having a good time, creating cool stuff today. For Pam, Katie, Megan, and I, the experience working with disabled kids proved to be enriching uh and humbling. I learned like it was nice to meet like the students that came here and meet all the new people. It was very humbling. I learned to be thankful for what I have, to be able to walk and just do everyday things normally. It's I'm really thankful. I really enjoyed my experience here today. It was really helpful in understanding what I should be thankful for. So what did you learn? I learned that I should be thankful for the daily things that I take yeah, for granted, and, like being able to walk around and Thank you. Bye bye. Reporting from Kettering University in Flint, I'm Julia Chan for GTV News.